Hey guys, welcome back to another MaxQ video demonstration. My name is Tyler Rapp with MaxQ Research, and in this video, we are going to be talking a little bit about our newest product, the Max Plus Stat Pouch. Uh, namely, some issues uh, or, or some topics concerning validation, preconditioning, and just some general uh, general usage tips that go along with the pouch to help you guys out. Let's go ahead and get started. The Stat Pouch is meant as a single-use product for issuing your single issue blood units from OR to the floor. It does uh, provide one hour of one to six C protection. And the way that the pouch works is it has some active cooling agents in the front and rear face of the pouch that provide um, instant cooling support. So for how to actually use the pouch, we do require a three hour preconditioning period in your blood refrigerators. Now you can precondition for longer than three hours, that's fine, but we require a, at least a three hour preconditioning period to get the full one hour of one to six C protection. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about the pouch and how it's supposed to be preconditioned, let's talk a little bit about the validation process. All of you guys are gonna be validating this pouch when you first get it, and we wanna make that as easy as possible for you. So one, uh, one thing I would say, one thing that we recommend is using a data logger that has an external probe and what you want to do is actually tape that external probe to your blood unit and put it in the refrigerator prior to the entire validation process. Maybe the night before you uh, intend validating, go ahead and tape your probe in your payload and put it in the refrigerator. The reason we do that is just to make sure that the data logger probe and the blood unit are at the exact same temperature when the test starts. You don't want to have to activate the pouch and then run and get your data logger and tape it to your blood unit and put it all in the pouch at the same time you want to have that blood unit with the data logger taped up and ready to go. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about the product in general, we know uh, the preconditioning duration of three hours, we know how our payload and our data logger should be conditioned, and now we can talk about how to actually activate the pouch and proceed with your validation and general use of the product. So what you're going to want to do is take the pouch out of the refrigerator first, lay it onto a flat, hard surface, and then you're going to want to put your palms on the center of the pouch and give it a, a CPR type action. So put your weight on it and lean into it and give it a nice firm press into the table. When you do that, you will hear two small uh, popping noises. Those popping noises are to let you know that the um, agents have been activated and you should instantly start to feel the pouch start to cool. It actively cools. Uh, another indicator that the pouch has been successfully activated is you may see some condensation start to build up on the pouch. That's a good sign that, uh, that the agents have been activated. One quick note is that after the two um, agents have been popped, you're going to want to shake the pouch for about 10 to 15 seconds to allow for, for a nice uh, continuous reaction of those cooling materials. And that's really all there is to it, guys. The last step is to just place your payload, take your payload out of the blood refrigerator, place it into the pouch. You're gonna peel off this adhesive strip and seal the pouch closed. And it's ready to go for an hour of one to six C storage. So hopefully you guys are able to, to take that information and validate on your first try. But I do wanna go ahead and give you guys just some helpful tips um, about the product in general. There are, uh, like I mentioned, there are two pops that you're gonna hear whenever the pouch is activated properly. And that's because there's reacting agents in the front of the pouch as well as in the rear of the pouch. So to get the proper performance out of the pouch, you definitely wanna make sure that you do hear the two audible pops and that both of the reacting agents have been activated. That'll really help out and make sure that you guys are validating. So another uh, topic or a tip that I wanna, wanna talk about is just uh, about the reacting agents themselves. So they are packaged in a very uh, robust pouch uh, for a couple reasons. Number one is to keep, the, to keep these pouches from accidental activation upon shipping to our customers. We don't want you guys to get the pouch with the active, with the active ingredients already popped and, and the pouch will be no use for you guys. So uh, it is robust, it is durable, you guys are gonna find that and that, and, and that was for a reason. The, the second reason that they're durable is we wanted to make sure that the, the pouches wouldn't burst and the reacting chemicals you know, spill everywhere. So they are designed to be durable, they are designed to be uh, somewhat difficult to pop for a reason. We don't want, actives, we don't want accidental activation and we do not want any um, reacting leaking anywhere. 
So those are uh, those are two couple a couple points to take into consideration whenever you guys are first using the pouch. It will get easier over time as you kind of get the feel for how to pop those internal um, um, agents. Okay, so we're entering the last portion of the video. In this portion, I'm going to be actually activating the pouch for you guys and showing uh, the, the procedure that I follow. So I've taken the pouch out of the blood refrigerator and I have it on a flat, hard surface. The next thing I do is I go ahead and put my palms near the center of the pouch and just kind of feel for a bulge. Uh, once you find that bulge, go ahead and lean over the pouch and give a nice uh, CPR uh, type push to the pouch. You hear the one pop. If you don't hear the second pop, go ahead and flip the pouch over and give it um, a second go. And after you get both of them popped, you just shake the pouch for 10 to 15 seconds and get those reagents nice and mixed together and it's ready to go. So that's it guys, that's how the Max Plus Stat Pouch is meant to be used. We're super excited for everybody out there to get their hands on it and start using the pouch. If you have any questions or general feedback on the product, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, all the contact information is listed below and we look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks and have a great day.